I'm a combat veteran, so um, two tours overseas, and I came back and uh, just really couldn't relate to everything, to my surroundings. Well, um, I do. I have an, uh, a very addictive personality. Yeah. Drugs, you know, adrenaline, um, sex, money, work. You know, it doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, I went into the service. I was very young. Um, and uh, I had a lot of, uh, a lot of unwanted memories that, um, that came back with me. Um, and I actually went from one war to another war. I served in Iraq 2009 to 2010. You know, we, were, we were combat logistical patrols and um, I was a scout. You know, we saw things, we did things, you know, whatnot. Just having ordinary survival over there. But uh, coming back into society and all that stuff, I've had reintegration issues, um, trust issues, paranoia, you know, the nightmares of things that have happened and whatnot. I've always kept people at arm's length away as far as uh, my emotions go. I've always built walls. And, you know, I wasn't ready to start tearing those walls down. And I really never said anything about my PTSD or anything. But I always knew that there was something wrong with me. And it's been a very, very heavy struggle with me because I've lived with it for, for 40 years. My anxiety for the first time in a long time is gone right now, completely gone. And um, the connection with the horses, it's hard to learn how to trust anyone outside of your squad coming back. And um, it's really helped me to realize that there is trust out there. And actually coming out here, you know, it made me learn a lot about um, building relationships you know, with people and with the horses. Um, you know, it taught me a lot about how I interact with other people and, you know, how I carry myself. Um, not always in a good way. You know, I use um, fear, intimidation, you know, sometimes to get others to do what, what I want them to do. And, um, you know, you taught me here that, you know, that's not necessary, that there's there's other ways to do it, to lead by example, with, uh, with confidence. Being here at Ironstone Farms, um, yeah, I've been able to, in just two days, I've been able to connect um, and be totally grounded, more than I've been grounded in a long time. Since last weekend, like I said, it's I had an epiphany and all that stuff that it is okay to trust and laying on the back of that horse it's just everything just all of a sudden opened up I mean it was such an amazing experience there is no such words that I can actually explain what happened that day I don't I can't explain it I mean it's just like a light switch turned on and um, it was such a wonderful feeling being on such a powerful animal and both of us having mutual respect for one another, both of us trusting each other. 
that broke a barrier with me in just five minutes that hadn't taken that's taken me three years to try to understand is you know it's okay to trust again I'm no longer in Iraq the way that I relate to people and I kind of found that through the horse an animal that big doesn't have to do anything that you want it to if it doesn't want to do it it's not going to so you have to figure out different little skills to make it f comfortable with you, you know, and, and you have to do that in, in, in life also. Of course, when I, um, we first uh, hosted the horse um, last, last week, you know, and then um, we were supposed to get the horse to try to follow us. We were the lead in the horse, and the horse was stubborn, and he didn't want to go, you know, but I tried to use my fear and intimidation. I tried to force him to come, and you can't really force a thousand pound animal to do what you want, you know? But um, then I was shown the, the right way to do it, to, you know, just to lead the horse, you know, show him the right way. And he came willingly and following, followed me. The spiritual connection of him alone is anything that I would love to encourage other veterans to do. It's, it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, I mean, the, the horse, right as soon as you get around him and you, you break that barrier of trust and anxiety in one another, you know, it's right as soon as you get through that and the, tr the horse starts to trust you and you start to trust him, the horse can feel the pain that's going on inside of you. And I was training with Kessler and once we started getting close and we started working together and all that stuff, I mean, he would always put his head on my shoulder and always put his head on my chest and all that stuff and it was kind of like telling me and he's like, I feel your pain and he was, it was just kind of like an unspoken way, he was saying, let me carry it for you and that and the same thing with Gus and that's, that's what, that's what I guess what broke the barrier and all the defenses that I have put up. See, these horses were just like, let me carry this burden for you just for today, if anything. That, the feeling of, that alone feeling that we have can, can go away. I would definitely love to see this program get more evolved within the uh, veteran community. It's helped me a lot with my confidence level, my self-esteem. Um, how I lead and I talk and carry myself with others. Um, this has been a really great experience and um, I hope to see it in the future. It's probably the best medicine um, for PTSD that I've seen and I only had to come here for two days. You know, and I've sat through uh, um, hours and hours of uh, psychologists, of psychiatrists, uh, taking uh, multitudes of pills uh, because uh, to, to stop flashbacks, uh, depression, uh, anxiety, mood disorders. And uh, I walk away from here feeling totally like I'm gift I feel gifted, uh, you know, to, to just to be around um, these animals. You know, it just, it was pretty, uh, spiritual it was just amazing absolutely amazing experience if you're having trouble in any aspects of your life this can help you with it it doesn't matter if it's post-traumatic stress anxiety depression whatever it is come here for a day and give it a shot and you'll you'll you will come back <laughs> I met with my therapist and all that stuff this past week and she was like these past few weeks and all that stuff were all for nothing because what I've been trying to do to you a horse did my job these two days made up for three years of my life